Cassava, like any other farm produce, is used basically for nutritional purposes. The crop produced most especially in the rural areas is blessed with a variety of products such as dried chips, starch, gary, gin, to name a few. These products, when carried to the market, makes both the farmer and the consumer to smile. The fact that the cassava crop is very resistant to the climate change. The main concern about cassava is because of the climate variabilities and climate change impacts. So cassava has some very, very high value added to be able to resist to climate change. And that's why we are encouraging young people, women and rural women to actually invest more in cassava production. Researchers see no reason why youths should not, in their numbers, go into its cultivation. We are trying to move out out of the cities to encourage young people that they should look at agriculture as a business. That's why we talk of agribusiness. Because if it's looked at as a business, a young person who likes money, who is interested in money making, is going to be so much engaged in getting it. So if it takes, for example, cassava to produce Gary, I know that if it has a market to access, then it's going to equally be very much interesting. Though Cameroon, for instance, still faces the transformation and cultivation problems, the state is therefore invited to unconditionally provide long-lasting solutions through this problem.